it's so typical. Now in the middle of a project, I have another project. I bought a half inch dowel from Home Depot only to find out their half inch dowels are 12 millimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make a dowel cutting jig using a table saw. And we'll be starting with that block of wood, but first I need to get that block of wood squared up. Here's a square block we are going to be making a dowel cutting jig on, and I need one face of this block square. So after I'm checking this, I find that all of the faces are currently square on this block. But what I need to do, I need to remove the finish because I'm going to have to glue this to another block. So we're going to use the band saw here. Well, those surfaces aren't square, but these are. And this is what I'm concerned with, is these right here. So my first step is to remove the finish off of one side of this and then confirm it's still square. know if you can see that from there but we're good to go we've got one square surface to go down to the block to the uh, block and now it's time to create our jig okay I've got my block ready to set up uh, we're gonna drill bore through two holes through this block one's gonna be 5 8 followed by half inch 5 8 we're gonna go go down about halfway through I've got my halfway line marked I've already set the depth so we're going to get this first one drilled hole number one's done okay we've got the half inch bit in we raised the bed up a little bit I think I have enough stroke to get it all the way through undo the stop here and you see now I have it clamped in place. We need to make certain that these two holes are concentric. So let's get the half inch hole board. All right, now let's move on to the next step. I pull, pulled out a reasonable length of plywood out of my scrap bin and I've marked the general outline of my block. We're going to get this centered. It does not have to be exact, but you do want to get it close and I'm just going to do it by feel. And then drill to install two screws. We do not want to go along the center of this and you'll see that uh, reason pretty soon, but we need to stay within the borders. I'm doing one at a time so I'm reasonably certain to get it squared up just snug enough so it doesn't turn easy make sure that I'm reasonably square go ahead and take a measurement uh, about a quarter inch. That's about the same. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and countersink these off camera and get this glued up ready for the next step. We're almost ready. Here we've got the jig almost done. Table saw almost set up. You see we have a line drawn that represents the bottom of the 5 8 hole that was bored through this side. What I've already done is I've set up the table saw to cut just in front of that line. But before we finish the jig, we got to cut some bar stock. And that's a 5 8 hole, which means I need bar stock about 0 .442 inch square. So we're going to cut a test piece. Uh, before we cut a long piece to make sure we've got the correct size for that hole. 
Now I'm wondering if anybody caught the error. That 5 8 hole I drilled was way too small for a half inch dowel. And I should have caught that early on, but I didn't. That has now been bored out to 3 quarter inch. And for that I need a .530 square block, which I just trimmed on the bandsaw. And putting it in the hole, it's a fairly good fit. Uh, I think I just might make that just a little bit larger. So I'm going to cut one more to check the size. I uh, won't be showing that on camera, but then after that we'll get started with finishing out the jig. To determine the correct size pilot hole, we take our dowel and inscribe a square around it, and then inscribe a circle around the square. This would be the minimum size hole required, but we would need to round that up to the nearest size hole saw available. In my case, that would be a 3 quarter inch hole saw. Now we need to determine the square stock required for a 1 half inch dowel. And for this, we'll use the formula shown here. Okay, we're about ready. We've got our jig. We've got the table saw fence set up so that they're right down the center line of this, making sure the screws are out of the way. And you might not be able to see it, but I have the approximate center of the blade marked. So let's drop the blade. Place my jig in place. Get it clamped in place. And a little bit off. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start up the saw and I'm going to raise the blade until I can see it in the hole. Now from this point, we need to op open it up just a little bit more. Drop the blade, move it over. And now, I need to go get my flashlight. see in the hole real well. Our jig is now ready to cut dowels. So let's get a block set up. The one, the, my test block at 530. It's a good fit. And, I don't know, it, I've, I've never actually tried to cut a plywood, this is out of plywood, I've never tried to cut a plywood dowel, but uh, let's see how that works. Getting ready to go, one of these little goodies will make things, should make things easier, I've never used this before. That actually split the plywood, so we don't know how well this is going to work. But this is used to uh, spin it. I'm pretty sure this is not going to work because of the plywood, but let's give it a shot. No! Yeah, you see, that's just not going to work. We're going to have to get us a a regular board cut to the right size. 
Now I've got a proper sized uh, board. Get the chuck tightened up. See if it spins okay in there. I'm not certain I've got the blade at the right height, but we'll find out. As it goes through, if it doesn't go through the hole, then I need to raise it up higher. And there we have, see if we're in the camera, get it focused. Yeah, we think that's focused here. It's a rough cut, but a little bit of sanding and we'll have our dowel. Now I got to check to see if it's half inch. Perfect. Now we're good to go with the half inch dowel. The short ones I did were just a test, getting everything set up. These are two of the ones I have done. Uh, this one's a, it was a short one, then I did a long one. And I had a couple of other blanks cut in case I needed more. But uh, this should be enough. But I'm going to go ahead and do one more just to make sure. Uh, you can see I've changed to a plywood blade. More teeth makes a finer cut. This one I've already drilled. So we're just going to mount the screw. and run it through. There's something I forgot to mention. We're going to run over to the bandsaw here real quick. Over on the belt sander. See if we can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus on it, but put a little taper on here. It helps guide it into the hole on the back side of the jig. And I'm going to reposition the lights to get a better image of this. And this is how it is right out of the saw. Now we're going to run it over to the drill, to first, first to the bandsaw to take off the rest of this blank and then on to the drill press. drill press. I've got a pretty much a dead center over here. I got a 5 8 hole in there. So we're going to take this and unfortunately I can only do this with up to uh, half inch. Drop 
drop that into the hole. Need to get me a couple of clamps. And this is an old belt from my little one inch uh, belt sander. Kind of wore out, but it's good for using for this. And I can't see how well this is focused, but you can see that it's a pretty nice finish. Uh, if you wanted to, if you dress this up, take some uh, finer grit paper. And polish it up real nice. That was... Uh, 100 grit paper here. So there's how I made my half inch dowels. Now to look at the final results of my dowel jig. You can see I've got a longer board I cut, switched off to a plywood blade, more teeth, so I get smoother cuts. And this is after sanding, very rough sanding by the way. And you can see nice solid fit inside my half inch hole. So that's it. Quick, dirty, relatively easy dowel cutting jig. You can make a dowel any size you want. First time I used one of these, I needed a mahogany 3 8 dowel, which of course you can't buy anywhere and without a lathe it's pretty much impossible and I used one of these just like Be this. Be sure to subscribe to follow this project and hit that notification bell to be informed of future updates.